dumbest pins I've ever seen. If you play that cut, at some point you just gotta A1. Shouldn't have done that. I was drooling over that. It's winter time, so uh, we're going upstairs. 90% air, right? Watch out. Heating up. It's a beautiful day for golf, and Brady and I are at Mesquite Golf Club. First hole's a short par four, into the wind. Straight ball flight not struck super well, a little healy, but it got the job done, center of the fairway. Grip it, rip it. Do you high a little far? Yeah. It's not the easiest driving hole, you've got trouble left, trouble right, and if you don't hit it well, you won't get over the creek. Second shot from the middle of the fairway, just a little wedge to a back pin. Into the wind and not struck particularly well. That one's going to be short. There's some wind up there. Chipping up again to a back pin up the slope. Tough little lie. Thank you. Woo. That was good. The greens are super slick here at Mesquite. They usually roll really well. This pin was on a dangerous little shelf on top of the green. And this did not go well. From about 12 feet off the green to 30, 35 feet up there. And unfortunately our playing partner did not learn his lesson. I mean you miss a putt by 6 inches and now you got 35 feet. Brady coming back up the hill. That's well judged. Gotta be careful here. Good par. Good start to the round. Scrambling. Yeah, that's a. The second hole at Mesquite Golf Club is another straightaway par four. You do have a hazard to the right, out of bounds left, but it's a pretty wide open, forgiving fairway that I just missed. That's trouble. Right. Let's see if Brady can learn from my mistake, get one started in the fairway. That's a beauty. Good shot, Brady. Obviously I was in the hazard, had to take a drop, which left myself quite a ways into the hole. A little bit left to right. He tries to cut it in there. Didn't start it quite left enough for the cut. Sitting in the bowl. Trying to get up and down to save. Up and down for Boom. a baby, yep. Oh. This is where Brady's driving it up. Pretty good shot. Join me. Join me. Short game competition. Only difference is you're laying two. <laughs> Give you a shot advantage. Huh? Of the two chips, I had the more difficult one. Less green to work with. Gotta cover that little elbow. Not bad. I'll take it. Brady's got a little more green to work with. Can take a lower route to the hole. But the greens are fast and firm and getting the speed right is very difficult. Ooh, I like the play. Good shot. Stop. Good shot. All right, shoot one. And that just released more than he expected. 
Screens are slick. A little bit of break. Tough to read. Missed opportunity. Suck. No, you don't suck, but if you look at how he's set up with the putter, his toes in the air, the angle of the shaft doesn't match the angle of his forearms, his eyes are a little bit inside the ball. He just changes his grip a little bit. He can get that shaft alignment better, get the putter sold right, better. You got a perfect read. Make more consistent contact with that putter. Ball out to the left. Just to contrast here, you can see that my eyes are a little closer to over the ball and my shaft plane and forearm plane is right in line. Should lead to more consistent contact and direction off the putter. And of course I picked one where I made the putt. Hole oh, three is a dog leg left par five. You want to try to cut the corner, but you can't be too aggressive because there's out of bounds left and trees through the fairway on the right. Hey, sit. Sit. Bounce left. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Pretty good shot there. Good start. It's a little tougher hole for Brady. He likes to hit All a right. cut. Aim point is the tree out there. Which tree? I'm guessing that one. You can see he was lined up right to begin with. He never had a chance to get to the corner. Yeah, let's see. And then cut it from there. Two holes in, two nice up and downs. Unfortunately, they were for par and for bogey. Not swinging so great to start the day, but we'll see if we can dial it in. I think I got that driver in play. Back's a little stiff. I played 36 holes indoors yesterday. Slept on the couch because of my dang dog. So see if I can shake some of that off in the cold, start swinging better and turn this into a score. Short game's looking sharp. See if I can turn it into some birdies. Brady, on the other hand, is in the wrong fairway. As you can see, he pushed it well over there, but in a good spot. It is a par five. Salty. Pretty good shot through the trees there. Good shot. Back in play. 205. Just a smooth four. So just like Brady was lined up to the right, I was lined up to the right on this one. Foot slipped as well, but I was never lined up left enough to get to that flag. Still, pen high in two. Foot slipped on me there. Block it to the right, but I should be pin high in two. Birdie chance. Yeah, pin the four iron. The miss is obviously right because the pin's in the left. So swing hard. I like the play. <laughs> Burr up the right. Yeah, it's gonna be. Close to my vicinity. Can have a short game contest. See, we uh, tied in the short game contest last time. I think you won the punny contest. <laughs> That's fair. Ooh, that's. Right. Uh... Short little chip, gotta get it over a mound. There's a slope just short of the pin where it should release on down. Didn't expect to be short. I was drooling over that. I thought that was perfect. That might be one of the dumbest pins I've ever seen. And I've seen some pretty dumb pins. Once I get over this hill, it's kind of sad when you have to think about laying up your foot. You may think he's joking when he's talking about laying up a putt, but this is one of the most devilish pins I've ever seen. This was definitely a superintendent's revenge kind of day. That putt by Brady was actually excellent. Oh no, that's good. Pick it up. That one was not as excellent. Stop. Oh, just to give you an idea of how yeah, devilish this pin go, was. Be good. Uh, 
hard to convince yourself to lag a 10 footer. Can't hit it softer. Yeah, you know I was going to aim higher and I, at the last minute, adjusted my read lower. Shouldn't have done that. Thought the speed was pretty good though. That was unfortunate. <laughs> From a uh, 10 foot birdie look to bogey. That's sad. Alright, 7 iron. Starting where Dallas's ball is. Hope for a draw. Yeah. You didn't get my tee shot, but I'm on the right side of the green. Hit a pretty good shot. Missed the pack. Nope. Why did I say that? Brady got way down there to the right. Clips the tree. Watch this sucker. This chip shot was incredible. You give him 50 yeah. times. Yeah. Not gonna get it inside that. Nice par. What a shot. I mean, that was so tasty. What a shot. This is where my tee shot lined up. Long putt down the hill. Again, I thought they got pace right, but these pins are right on slopes. Par number four. That was a heck of a par. <laughs> Broke going down there, but not coming back. Three putt. That one hurt. We gotta get the wheels back on the bus. That's three bogeys in four holes. Hit the ball well. It's two three putts on the last two. Are these putts I'm not mad at? That's our turning this into a score. Hole five's a short par four, but it is up a narrow chute. Not a lot of room. Especially for somebody who likes to hit a draw. Gotta hug the right side. Hope you missed the trees. I hit that right on my target. Perfect. So why do you think uh, Robin had it here versus Robin? Right? Did he play too well for a cut? If I hit a driving iron good, I'm going to have inside 150. Debating whether or not I want to try a driving iron good. But the way you cut it, why not? So the shot should fit Brady's eyes, but again, you've got to line up left if you're going to hit a cut. And that was too far to the right. Don't know if you heard the tree. But it hit the tree. No idea where it bounced. It hit hard. Brady caught a tree. <laughs> no way not. Let's see if he can get this back in play. Sit, baby. Got away with it. Oh. Yet again, just can't get it in play. Got it through the trees, but that's what we have left. Shot through the tree. Not I. It's winter time, so uh, we're going upstairs. 90% air, right? This is one of those shots where I'm always conflicted whether I go over or under. Because of the winter, I decided to go over. Didn't make it. That didn't work. Dumb. This is a pretty good shot to just 10 feet left of the pen. Not bad from that line. Problem is another devilish pin. You'll see the color of the green change right where the pin is from dark to light. They put it right on a ridge. This was not a good day for the superintendent. Right. Tough butt. You know it's going to break and it falls off past the hole. Just hard to be aggressive with these pins. Alright, that's five holes and four bogeys. Quality golf. Really not feeling like I'm hitting bad shots, just not scoring. So, let's turn it around. Hole six isn't a long par three, but there's trouble to the right, and the pin was front right. I got all that one. I know, that's what I said. I also have a seven. 
and I am... Actually, it's down there. Mostly now. I was all to the left. Hang in there. I think she gone. You keep playing that cut. At some point, you just gotta aim left. How can you play a cut and aim at the pin? Shuckle up. <laughs> That's good. This is actually my third shot. I tried to lag putt down the hill again. Tricky pin, ran it all the way past the pin. That was a poor par attempt. Another bogey. Off to a rousing start. Number seven's a par five. Kind of dog legs left. There's S curve up there. Not a lot of room, particularly if you block it. That's trouble. Driver over the trees in the left, fade back into the So he said he's going to hit it over the left edge of those trees, but again, feet are probably in the middle of the fairway. Which, if you're playing a cut. It's not where you want to be. And he followed me. So after a drop, I've got 260 into this green, trying to hit a three wood off the down slope. <laughs> Almost missed it. Through the fairway, into the trouble on the other side. Brady fares a little bit better. See, I was lucky not to go into the rough. It's still a tough shot, and no chance to advance to the green because of the overhanging trees. Just laying up. Hooked it, and hit it really, really fat. What a full start to the day Not playing well. I think I've lost track, but I'm something like five over through six, and I'm one, two, three. Laying forward out on the green to par five. Looking at bogey at best here. This will be a good exercise in seeing if I can reset the mind and play a good back. Let's go. Remember that when you watch the back nine later. This is where I start turning the game around. After this hole. This hole's terrible. Not bad. But about eight feet for both. I thought it was eight feet. Again, it rolled for five minutes to get all the way to the bottom of the hill. This is Brady's long putt for par. Never high enough. These pins were ridiculous. Superintendent did not have a good day. So, Miss Bogey. Have to settle for double. And I'm seven over through seven. That hurts. Brady's got basically the same putt up this hill. Doesn't get it there. Ouch. Made a mess of that one. Hole eight down the hill into the wind. Not super long. More room left than right. That was my first pipe drive of the day. Murdered it. That felt good. And this is about where it turned around for me and I started driving the ball well. It's also the first drive Brady hit to the left. Got through that one. Hooked it over in a nine fairway. Left with this recovery shot through the trees. Which he actually did well to advance back into the right fairway just short of the green. Not bad. Yes, sir. I've got just a little wedge in. Again, that pins on a slope, landed it just about past the pin. Thank you. And it started coming back. If it stops. Greens were fast and sloped. It's tough to get anything close. Pretty good chip up there for Brady. And now I'm left with this 12 footer up the hill for Birdie. That I thought was straight. Aww. It wasn't straight. Easy par though. 
And only my second par of the day. Brady to save his par. Ooh. Walks Good it cut. in. Par save an eight. <laughs> well, I think I'm seven over through eight. Solid golf, right? That was, uh, what was the goal? Scramble whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you actually hit a pretty big shot. Far. Good putt. Yeah, that one didn't go, but that one finally felt like golf. It is a draw. Didn't get my tee shot on camera here. I blocked it up the right hand side. Hit it pretty well. I didn't draw. No, but it was a straighter ball flight. It was closer. Good shot. Luckily, just a wedge up the hill over the bunker. Put a pretty good strike on it. Maybe too good. That might have been long. Come on. Good read. That was sarcasm. He blocked speed it quite a bit. But speed was perfect. Starting to look on the left now. Up for birdie. Haven't had many of those. Get in there, birdie. Birdie on Thank you. Right. He's back. Watch out. Heating up. Four on nine. I didn't count There you go. That'll jump start the back nine. Nice little birdie. That skin's in the back hole. We gotta do something make this interesting because that front nine was anything but. I think I shot six over. <laughs> 